Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Kovac Enterprises, where we're modeling one piece at a time. Uh, we all heard the uh, saying about uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, uh, my next project that I will be doing kind of reflects on that uh, saying, and uh, if you haven't guessed it already, we'll bring her on in. Here we have our what appears to be a B-29 Super Fortress, but in reality it's actually uh, Airwolf disguised as B-29 Super Fortress from the company called Kitech. Um, I purchased this a while back ago and uh, I believe I probably paid about $10 for it uh, from China. Uh, and uh, it got shipped over in about a week or so. So this will probably uh, be my next project, and without further ado, uh, just a kind of a quick uh, look at uh, what's inside the box. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and pull out the uh, instructions, and let me kind of bring the light down a little bit for you. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, anyways, the uh, the first part on the front page is basically uh, your Airwolf helicopter with a little history behind it. And uh, on the lower half, uh, it actually shows you the parts, uh, which basically is four separate pieces in, on their uh, sprue trees. Uh, one, of course, is the uh, actual fuselage of the uh, uh, two halves of the Airwolf, and that's uh, letter A. Letter B will be the um, another parts list that contains the pilots and uh, the other components for the helicopter. And C is, uh, of course, the rotor blades and probably looks like the inside of the uh, cockpit uh, items. And then finally, the D uh, sprue uh, contains all the clear parts for the uh, window of the helicopter. So <clears throat> basically it's a very simple instruction sheet to kind of have the exploded view. Uh, there's basically seven parts to it. Uh, so it's basically just picture, diagram, and uh, you just kind of follow along. There's no written instructions on what goes on first, but uh, you know we'll get through it. Uh, basically the first part is also the uh, uh, shows you how to put the uh, pilots together a string fellow hawk and uh, Dominic and uh, then we have our uh, instrument panel and uh, as well as the uh, probably the front wheel assembly uh, part two is basically putting those together along with the uh, cockpit parts and uh, gluing those all together as well uh, part three here is uh, basically uh, they tell you to attach the two halves of the uh, fuselage of the Airwolf uh, with uh, gluing in the windows. And then we go to part number four, uh, basically is putting the cockpit assembly uh, along, you know, glued along with the uh, two fuselages and part of the uh, rotor assembly on top. And then we have our uh, two uh, outer uh, main pieces that hold the uh, uh, caliber uh, type of uh, uh, ordinances as well as the uh, wheels uh, and that's for both the right and left hand side for five and six as you can see here sorry about the light um, <clears throat> and then of course we go on the back side where basically you, you take all the parts that you assembled and attach them to the uh, outer part of the uh, Airwolf helicopter to uh, complete the, uh, the assembly. Uh, as far as the uh, painting instructions, uh, say very, uh, there's about four uh, call outs uh, designated as white, flat, black, red, and silver. And, uh, of course, with this kit, there was no decals that came with it. But uh, with that being said, that's the instructions. And <clears throat> as you can see, uh, this is what comes uh, when you take it out of the box. It's uh, all the parts are in one plastic bag, as we see here. 
and uh, we'll go ahead and take them out. See if we can see the best of detail to each one of them. Uh, this is going to be basically a uh, sprue uh, letter A for the two halves of the fuse lodges. And uh, see if we can see. Uh, I say for a $10 kit, uh, it's got some pretty good detail for the uh, outer part of the uh, Airwolf uh, itself. Uh, you can see all the paddle lines and uh, uh, nicely detailed around the doors and, and the window area. So uh, hopefully you can see that. So that's one side of it. We flipped it around. And basically you can see the other side as well. A mirror image of, of the opposite side. So there you go. Alright, that's the uh, A side of the sprue. Uh, next would be the B sprue where we have our uh, pilots. We'll kind of show that first. Uh, they do have the arms, as you can see here, uh, for both both pilots, and uh, you just kind of glue those together. Uh, as far as the likeness of both uh, Stringfellow Hawk and Dominic, uh, they're really small, and you can't really tell. But uh, uh, so we'll just kind of paint them up and make them represent the uh, the actors. Um, here we have some of the. Uh, Armament for the uh, Airwolf, and uh, you know other. Like I said, uh, we have the uh, instrument panel down here, and other components for the helicopter. Like I said, I don't know all the parts of the helicopter. It's the first time I'm building a helicopter, so uh, but we'll get it together. This is probably part of the uh, uh, rotor blades and the uh, gear assembly for 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 turning the rotors themselves, and. Uh, as well as uh, we have some more armament on the lower left hand side with the uh, wheels and other uh, components and gears and here's the two uh, side uh, uh, features that uh, houses the uh, ammunition and the uh, armament for uh, for Airwolf. So that's your B sprue, uh, sprue tree and then we have our C uh, sprue and that contains the uh, rotor, the main rotor, and all the uh, parts to put the uh, cockpit together. We'll kind of flip it around so you can see we have the two uh, pilot seats here, probably the console, uh, the flooring, decking, all part of the cockpit assembly. So like I said once again, it, uh, it's not bad for detail for, for what you get for your money. So there's that, and uh, then our last piece, of course, I'm going to keep this in the plastic bag to keep it from scratching up, but this is the clear parts for the uh, window uh, part of the, uh, the helicopter itself. So that is it in a nutshell. Um, like I said, uh, this is the box that came in, uh, and of course, you know, they, uh, uh, the people just wrote down in the black permanent marker, you know, Airwolf, please check inside the box and a uh, thank you. So, uh, just make sure we got all the parts and, and everything like that. So, anyways, that will be my next uh, project here is to assemble the Airwolf. So, stay tuned uh, for future updates and uh, appreciate you uh, watching my channel and, uh, and subscribing and uh, we'll see you shortly. Take care.